So coming back at you with the bug project. Um, obviously, building the whole new trailing arms and everything and getting the disc brakes all in place. And with custom control arms, something I now have to redo is all the brake lines. And since I'm redoing the brake lines, I'll go ahead and throw in the turning brake and everything else. But uh, something no one ever goes over is nylon brake kits, which this stuff. Um, everybody here is, oh no, it's a plastic fucking brake line and uh, we're going to crash and die. Well, um, a lot of the race cars use it. A lot of IMCA dirt track cars and everything else use it. A lot of rock crawlers. So today's video is just going to go over um, durability. Just to kind of go over and show you. And it's going to go over um, probably in the next video of actually running everything through the bug to the point where it's not going to chafe and it's not going to come apart for any reason and just, you know, plumbing the brake system, really. So just to give you an idea of how strong this stuff is, this isn't your typical uh, oil pressure line gauge. Like this stuff, you could do whatever you want to it, really. And uh, nothing, like, doesn't even really bend in half. Um, it's supposed to be 1900 PSI bursting pressure um, and that's it that's it's higher than that but that's at extreme I guess from what they're saying um, I've read a lot of things about it and they just always go on about how bad the idea it is now to prevent chafing and temperature um, I went ahead and got sleeving to go around it which is flame retardant and basically a shielding for it so it doesn't chafe. It's supposed to be good for 500 celsius so between that protecting this line and that being flame retardant and everything else I can't really see what's going to go wrong with it. Um, it's all compression fittings you basically you loosen it up, you slide them on, you tighten it down as much as you can, and go from there. Um, give me one second. I'm going to go get the torch. Let's see how easy this stuff lights on fire. All right. So I'm back with the torch. Um, I think three tests will be great. I'm going to light this shit on fire, see how easy it lights on fire. Then I'm going to see how well this burns and then I'm gonna slip it into the sleeve and see how much longer it lasts let's go from there so we'll start off with this now mind you this is a torch and you shouldn't run any of this shit that close to fire but it's still we need to see what it's gonna do so for it actually being purposely torched I would say that lasted a good amount of time before it actually melted. Now, you see how the flame retardant shit does. My opinion, it's uh, not flame retardant at all. So, uh, putting those two together, that's, uh, I don't know. I'm going to say, if you're, uh, if it's on fire, it's going to fucking melt. doesn't matter what you have it in. It will, uh, it will prevent chafing. It'll help everything look clean. Um, honestly, though, I've seen worse metal brake lines in people's cars over time. So... I'm personally still going to run with it and give it a try. But uh, I figured this would be a good video since there's nothing like it on YouTube showing what an actual nylon brake kit is. Take it easy. If you liked the video, like it, subscribe it, all that good stuff.